Hi everyone, it's Dr. Romani. Welcome back to this YouTube channel on narcissism. So today's questions come in from a few emails and other folks is how intentional is narcissism? If you have thoughts on that question, drop your answer in the, in the comments, but that's the question that keeps rolling in. I mean, I think it comes from some folks who are still maintaining hope that maybe, just maybe, the narcissistic person in their life can make a switch. So if narcissism is intentional, then that means that the narcissistic person has more control or, over it. Now, the corollary to this is more painful because if narcissism is intentional, then it means that they are intentionally trying to hurt you. And that's not a good feeling, right? Narcissism is a personality style. And by definition, personality styles are not intentional per se. They're kind of automatic, the sort of cruise control of our psyche. Personality styles like conscientiousness. Conscientious people are conscientious. Agreeable people are agreeable. Neurotic people are neurotic. And these personality styles become the drivers of our behavior. Conscientious people will be highly organized. Agreeable people will be really accommodating. Neurotic people will worry a lot and they'll sort of fret over small details all the time. To do so differently from people with different personality styles would be effortful. So maybe the conscientious person can, I don't know, leave the dishes in the sink or go out before their homework is done, but they're probably going to be pretty uncomfortable with that. If narcissism was intentional, that would almost be better because there would then be a chance of, at shifting it. Think of it as what we go through when we try to lose weight, right? Eating is a behavior, right? It's intentional. We need to go to the kitchen and get something to eat. So it is within the realm of possibility for us to make another choice, to, to select something that's healthier or not eat if we aren't hungry, that kind of thing. It's still not easy because so many other factors may drive our likelihood of eating, like boredom or stress or emotion. But ultimately, getting and eating the food is an intentional behavior. And while it may be uncomfortable to not be able to numb your emotion this way, it's possible. Even if you just have to lock your cabinets, it's intentional, so it can be stopped. Personality is different. It's sort of the context, the background, the thing that really can't be moved that much. And we do have an, other videos on this. For example, we have one like this on agreeableness. If you're agreeable, it wouldn't be easy for you to start behaving in an antagonistic manner or being a narcissistic person, right? So narcissism isn't intentional. It simply is. It's who the person is. Yes, you say, Dr. Romani, though, this narcissistic person in my life, they're nice sometimes. So why can't they be that all the time? Uh, well, that nice happens on a day where they feel safe, well-regulated, they're getting enough supply and validation, and they're free of frustration or stress and stuff's going their way. If every day was like that for them, they would never rage or gaslight or manipulate. And I know you try to make their lives like that for them, right? There is no bubble wrap in the world that can completely isolate a person from the stress of life. Rich folks can get there to a point, but there will still be the day when that rich person feels slighted. Their martini isn't cold enough. The beach is too sandy. They didn't get the best seat at the stadium. And boom, their narcissistic vulnerability boom, their narcissistic vulnerability and rage and tantrums will pop up. Narcissism is a constant internal war for the narcissistic person between shame and safety, between feeling validated and feeling rejected, between ego injury and domination. So for those of us on the outside, we experience those as good days and bad days. For a person who is narcissistic, that means having good days and then having days of lashing out and then having some shame about lashing out and then lashing out more because of the shame. And the sense for them is that if everything could just work out the way I want it to be, I'll be fine. I'm like this because things aren't just going the way I need them to. And yes, I can tell you they really do say that kind of thing out loud. And that's the problem. The key to being a decent person is how we behave 
when it doesn't all work out. Anyone can keep it together on a good day, but it's the bad days. And without knowing it, people in narcissistic relationships are chronically trying to protect the narcissist from having bad days. And unless you shadow them 24 seven and make sure that the path is always clear for them, then you will forever struggle with this vacillation between bad days and good and the spotty empathy that they have. It's what narcissism is. It's their personality. And frankly, it's not even personal. Anyone in their splash zone will have to endure their BS. And the more empathic and the more accommodating you are, the worse you get their abuse. That raises the other question of why does it sometimes seem that their empathy is on, that they do notice me and see me and get me and are protective of me? It's back to that safety that when a narcissistic person feels good and things are going fine for them, then they may actually be solicitous. It's not that narcissistic people don't have empathy. It's just that they always come first for themselves. So when things and stuff aren't going right, their only focus is on themselves. So then the empathy gets lost. If they're having a good day, then they can actually have you know, some version of empathy. That's not how empathy is supposed to work. It's so important for people to know this because otherwise folks blame themselves. Well, the narcissistic, they were nice last week, so it must be me. Maybe I did or said something because they're not being nice today. Because you see that they're capable of being functionally nice people, charming and all the rest of it from time to time. And that right there is the heartbreak. That is why there were moments of your childhood here and there that sometimes felt real, of your relationships that are good, of your workplace that you like or even inspired by. And in the midst of it, these abusive bombs go off. It's like the most beautiful garden in the world that just happens to be a minefield. That's why these relationships are so confusing. And to the narcissistic people out there who just might be watching this particular video, folks, this is work. Just like the sweet folks out there, they can't stop being sweet. You need to figure out how to feel okay with days that aren't good for you. And I'm not saying it's easy. Other people don't exist for you to regulate with. Other people are people with real feelings, even when you are having a bad day. And an apology doesn't make it better. I don't believe personality is intentional. I think it is what makes some behaviors difficult and some behaviors easier. Agreeable people find it easy to be flexible for other people. Conscientious people know that they will find the time to study. Personality in many ways is who we are and knowing it helps us predict behavior. And the behavior is the part which is by and large intentional. But above all else, if you are spending time with a narcissistic person and they are behaving badly, repeat after me, it's not your fault. Thanks again.